Today we're going to talk about taming your large database. So the problem is you have just a gigantic database. The question is how are you going to access it? You want interactive performance. You also want to pare it down to the relevant parts. You also want low fixed costs. So you don't want to get charged every time you ask a question. So the solution, copy that monster database into an EC2 small. It's set of files on the file system. And then from that, build a local database. And then that local database, you can interactively refine, cut it down, and explore. So let's demo this in a particular context. The context is the giant database is Crunchbase. And what we want to do is to conduct a study on people who work at analytics, software, and search companies. So here's the demo. In this case, the giant database is Crunchbase. So we're just gonna access Crunchbase here. So we have a map into Crunchbase. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pare that down just to talk about companies and people who work for those companies and the degrees of those people. So now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna connect. And now we're connecting remotely to the large database. So we're asking company, oh, so that was a long wait. So now here's the solution where we're gonna copy down the database into a set of XML files on the EC2. So here we go. We're going to click on that. And then what that does is then that goes and it starts building these XML files, which are now, if you look here, are now on the file system of the EC2. Now from those, here's an example one. So from those, we're going to now build a local database. So what we do here is we just say that we want this to be an SQLite database, a local database. We set that and then we're going to take all these files here and we're going to build an SQLite database. So we go and we do that and in it goes. And now finally we have it. So we can now interact with that. For context, assume that we're going to conduct a study looking at employees of analytic software and search companies. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pare it down. So we're going to look at the companies that are not analytics uh, software or search companies and we're going to delete those. So we're going to get rid of those. And then likewise, we're going to get rid of the people who are not working at one of our companies. So the people who don't work at those companies, get rid of those. So we're really reducing the size of the database here. And then we're also going to get rid of the many to many relationship here where it doesn't pertain. So now we have pared it down. We have a much faster, much quicker way to interact with the database. So what we see here then is just the people, uh, the degrees of the people. And then we ask the question of how many uh, degrees uh, for a person per subject area. And if we look here, we'll see that computer science is the top. So the conclusions, you can definitely pull a monster database onto a small EC2. You can then use simple natural language to interactively refine and explore that local database. So launch C phrase and give it a try today.